Good morning, Coach. Good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome to HSBM Media Days. Coach, introduce yourself and the players you have here today. So my name is Jose Zabala, first time coach of uh, Spanish River. Um, to my right is Joseph Santone, one of our uh, outfields and first basemen. He's pitching a little as well. To my left is uh, our senior leader, Cody Estrin, who's uh, going to be probably a big, big part of our program this year on the mound. Excellent. So, Coach, you're new to the ball club. Tell us a little bit about your, your history with baseball. So, I'm a former baseball player. Um, I've been living in my entire life. You know, some people say you play for the fun of it. I play for the grind. I love um, the smell of the dew in the morning. I just love being in the baseball field. But more important, I love being part of something. And being part of something with these kids is that much special, right? We try to raise them to be great baseball players. And the reality is we're trying to raise great men. And being a part of that in their lives, it's what's special about it for me. And I really appreciate the opportunity to do such a thing. Coach, your son Roman is on the team. What's that like? To have a uh, to coach well, I got to tell you, that's a little difficult, and these guys can speak a little bit differently, but he does get a little bit um, harder than the others, um, I would say. Uh, but it is challenging, right, separating that, that father-coach relationship to making sure you're doing what's right for the team. Um, and that's the biggest important part. And at the end of the day, if you perform and you bring value to the team, you're going to play. So I'm excited because I get to be with him. Um, as opposed to not be with him when I'm on a baseball field. So I do appreciate that part about it. And he's going to have to do his part to, uh, to help this team win. Excellent. And talk to us about the roster. What does that look like for this year? Well, I'm going to, you know, we're going to find out. Um, I got a great bunch of kids. I'll definitely say that. Um, I've got good senior leadership. Uh, there's a good chance that uh, five of the pitchers, um, you know, f four of them are going to start, uh, all seniors. So, from who's on the bump, everyone knows, dictates a lot of the game. I'm fortunate enough to have good leaders on the mound that are gonna that are gonna take control of the game. They're phenomenal leaders, and I think we're gonna be successful because of that. And then on the other side of that, we've got a very we've got about five or six sophomores, I think, that are also gonna be involved in a lot of the playing time. So there's a big gap between the seniors and the sophomores, but I think they're gonna be able to hold their own. Um, as a matter of fact, I know they're gonna be able to hold their own. They are ready to compete. And we execute every day in practice and the importance of putting the team first. So it's going to be a, a challenging season, especially with who we have in our district, as always. But just, just phenomenal baseball around South Florida, and we're really excited about it. Excellent. Coach Z, uh, all coaches know how important chemistry is to providing a winning season. Can you say a few words about the Sharks and team chemistry in terms of uh, the depth of the roster and the experienced guys and the rookies? And no, it, it, absolutely. Um, without chemistry, you don't have anything. You can have all the talent in the world. And how they play together as a unit is super important, right? So so we we definitely, in practice, we put it themselves in a situation not only to see, hey, how are you going to react physically to the game of the baseball or what happens in the situation, but are you going to pick up your teammate when that teammate needs to be picked up? You know, you're going to put your head up, hey, pick the next guy up. So we actually practice that in practice, right? Um, but the truth is these kids are so well developed and they're just, they, have, they come from great families that it's instilled in them, you know? So the chemistry's never been an issue, you know, at Spanish River just because of the culture. And they really, really do a great job of picking each other up. So I'm excited about that part. Now we just got to find out if they can play baseball, you know, and then the rest will take care of itself. But a good bunch of kids we got. So from the player perspective, I want to hear from you guys. New coach coming in, you guys have been there for years together talk to me on how you guys are transitioning with a new coach and how you guys are coming together so for us obviously it's been a wild ride with coaches in the past but I think this year we're definitely more locked in more in tune I think that with our good young core there's going to be more sparks of energy we're going to be more passionate about getting wins and it's going to be a grind but I think we're going to be better than we were last year and hopefully we can get to that point awesome for you uh, I feel the new coach is really it's more of a mold for the team. Like he fits our our system better than what I've felt in the past. With the youth, with the new young people, they're learning at a much better rate. Like they all work together towards the team, and the coach helps them mold towards the new shape that he wants the team to become. And the seniors are helping them guide guide them down that path into making them better ball players. And I feel it's just all one great team so far. And for our seniors, Coach Z mentioned it many times already. It's a grind. So how do you combine? Uh, your studies as a student athlete, with your aspirations to play college ball, with your own personal lives. Uh, baseball is a very, very long season, as you know. 
So can you comment on how you combine the grind, so to speak? So obviously school and education is the number one priority for all of us because grades are the most important thing. But um, as a team, we all want to prioritize the field and the classroom and level each other out. So once we enter the field, it's two hours, three hours, whatever practice is. As soon as we step on that field, we're locked in. The grind starts now. And then when we're off the field, it's homework, studying for tests, in the classroom, doing whatever we can to balance our student athlete lives. Yeah, I mean, as Cody said, grades come first, and Coach Z understands that. And like, there's been times where I might have to text him, another player on the team will have to text him, say we have to skip a practice because of a test, or we have to study for something that we've been struggling in. And he understands, he's ready. He'll let us take that time to finish the test as long as the next day we're there and we're ready to continue the grind like we need to to be a better team. Yeah, that's a, that's a great question because you know one of our principles we set forth is, you, we talk about being a student athlete, right? So student athlete, student being the first part of that, statement right athlete being the second so they go hand in hand and i i definitely put a lot of emphasis on that um i tell the kids you know time is your number one resource right you 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 really can't buy any more of it but when you spend it you really can't get it back so learning to prioritize their student athlete life and be part of that grind we actually have a classroom an hour session on just prioritizing time right because it is important to be able to give yourself to the team and make sure that the other stuff doesn't get you know, put in the in the back burner as well. Um, and I got two of the best students, you know, that are student athletes really with me, top of their class. So um, we're in good shape in, you know, in that, that space. And Coach, um, so we'll talk about, so you're doing good in the, um, in, this, in the classroom, so let's talk about the field. Who are you guys facing? What's your schedule like? Woo, I gotta tell you, I think we looked and um, I think we got four, three or four ranked teams that we're gonna go up against. Um, I definitely, um, We've got uh, we got Columbus up there. We got Key West. Um, forgotten who else on the schedules. Another one some there. I'm not sure. Columbus. Columbus Heritage. So we're gonna have a tough battle, right? And I always tell the kids, I'm like, you know, to be the best, you got to beat the best. And that's that's just a respect to the other programs and the coaches. Like I'm learning so much from uh, from all these other coaches. Just talked to Coach Carm out there. I mean, it's I learn every day as a baseball coach and as a baseball player. We're learning every day, right? We fail to learn right and then we move on so for me it's a learning process and the only way i feel like i'm going to learn and continue to get better is to play those kind of teams so i'm excited about it really get out there and compete excellent and coach and you came out here for media days why was it important for you to bring your team out here today oh gosh you know i don't think they've done in a while uh to create that exposure um uh, hsbn does such a great job to just get out there and get the the, the name out there um, of the school of the kids excuse me it's really about them and just being in this in this limelight right is special and it's important to them so I'm, I'm happy to be a part of it excellent so coach sum it up what can we expect from spanish river this year Woo, flip a coin 50 50 <laughs> at this point i can tell you this um you're going to get a team that competes you're going to get a team that plays small ball you're going to team get a team that does the right things um and hopefully execute when the time is right um and everyone here knows that at any given day anyone can win a baseball game so it's it's how you compete it's how you go forth and i'm excited about it so appreciate it excellent well the best of luck to your team and um, thanks for being here today and we'll see you on the field i can't wait thank you